hi guys so i haven't made a video in over two months so this is the first video i'm filming since i think june which it's been a very long time and i'm really excited to be making another video because it has been so long and you know of course we have nora here joining us but today i'm going to be talking about all of the books i want to read before the end of this year because we are already halfway through 2024 and you know it's been a big year I feel like I haven't read as much I've definitely been focusing on other aspects of life you know I work 40 45 hours a week so I haven't had as much time to read and also I did get into grad school so that's been a huge thing trying to get into grad school I got into all three programs I applied to I already know where I'm going I'm super excited about that but yeah, so today is all about the books I want to read before the end of the year and I have quite a few. I have a big stack right next to me and I'm really excited to show you guys. So the first book I'm really wanting to read the, before the end of the year is Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren and from my understanding this book is set up kind of similar to how Carly Fortune writes her books which this was before Carly Fortune wrote her book. So, I mean, this is kind of the first we saw of it, but it takes place in the past and the present. And it's between two people and just kind of how they come together in the present time. And I'm, I've been putting this book off for so long. And I know everyone says good things about it, but for some reason, I just haven't picked it up yet. And fortunately, I do have the newer cover. I wish I had the original cover because it is so cute, but... Besides that, this is definitely one that I need to read, finally need to read. So this is definitely one I want to read before the end of the year. So the next book I have is a young adult book and that is Furyborn by Claire Legrand. And this is about a prophesied queen. And in order to prove that she is the prophecy queen, she has to go through a series of trials, which I know I feel like every like YA type book I pick up has some sort of like trial, especially if it's like a fantasy novel, but definitely excited about this. I have all of the books in the series so when I read this I just want to go all in order and just kind of binge read the series and I really like the cover. It is really cute and also I believe this takes place in one timeline and then a thousand years later so we definitely have that aspect going on. So this is another one I want to read before the end of 2024. So next I also want to read The Mist by Stephen King and this is one I have always wanted to read this one I've seen bits and pieces of the movie and I believe the tv show I think that's what the tv show is about was this book but definitely wanted to read this book ever since seeing the little scenes from the movie and honestly I know it doesn't have a happy ending I already know that I have been forewarned but Stephen King just I don't know why but I'm just very drawn to Stephen King, even though it's very dark. It's, they're horror books, but essentially what this is, is about a mist that takes over a town and like people start being basically murdered by the mist and this man and his family try to get to safety. So that is what this is about. It's not a very thick book. Let's see, I think it's only like 150 pages. It's one of his shorter novels because I know Stephen King writes these ginormous novels that are like a thousand pages long. I mean, I read it, so I can testify that they are very long books, but this is definitely one that I've had on my list for a while. So next is The Club, and this is one that I got because it was on the Reese's Book Club pick, and I found it on the Bargain Books at Books Million, so I decided to pick it up. From my understanding, this is about a group of like rich celebrities who go to this like celebrity club, and a bunch of people like start showing up murdered. And you know, everyone has their secret. So they're trying to figure out who is murdering all of these people. And it's kind of like they're in a secluded area. So it kind of has a very interesting setup. And obviously, I did like the cover was another reason. And obviously, Reese's Book Club, I trust Reese Witherspoon definitely. So this is another one that I'm definitely excited to get to. I haven't had this one on my shelves for very long. But definitely been there a while so it's definitely time to get to it. So next I have another YA book and that is You've Reached Sam 
And this is about a girl who, her friend dies, she doesn't go to the funeral, and she's very heartbroken over this. But after seeing a message in her yearbook from him, she decides to listen to his last voicemail, and she gives him a call, and he answers. And even though there isn't much of a connection, she keeps calling him just because, you know, she wants that connection to her friend that she's lost. And of course, once I, I swear I say this for every book, but the cover is just gorgeous. And I absolutely love it. I love the colors and the drawing on it, but... This is definitely one I've, it took me a while to purchase and it's taken me a while to read. There's been big gaps in between each of those, but this is one I'm excited to read and show you guys my thoughts on. So, so next is You. And of course, this is the book that started the TV show that we all know and love. And I bought this a while ago after watching the first two seasons of the TV show. And I definitely wanted to see what the differences were between the book and the tv show and i'm excited to see them i mean i love the tv show the guy from gossip girl he plays that role incredibly well and in a way it's kind of creepy how well he plays it but i don't know watching gossip girl now kind of makes sense unfortunately but definitely interested to see what his character is like in the book see if he's even creepier so this is the next one I have on my list. Then we have another book that got turned into a TV show and that is the Suki Stackhouse series. And the first one is Dead Until Dark and this is by Charlene Harris. And if you don't know what True Blood is, it's essentially what kickstarted this whole vampire obsession. I mean, you could say it was Interview with a Vampire. Truly, I think True Blood kickstarted it with Twilight Vampire Diaries. This was the like original for the 2000s vampire fandom. And it's about a girl she basically can read everyone's mind and then this guy comes into town she can't read his mind and also i should preface this by saying vampires like are known to the world like people know they exist in this series like they're not a secret so i mean that's a huge difference from all the other vampire shows so i think it's interesting and i think she's like a fairy in this it could just be the tv show <laughs> But, you know, I'm excited to see how much this changes between the book to the TV show. Because the TV show is insane. And just, the TV show just makes no sense sometimes. So I'm very curious about this one. My next book is a nonfiction book. And that is The Dark Side of the Moon, the making of the Pink Floyd masterpiece. And something you might not know about me is I'm very into, like, classic rock and stuff from, like, the 80s and back then. And this is just a very iconic music album. You know, you have another brick in the wall and all these other good songs from it. And I just, Pink Floyd is one of the original bands that got me into the genre. So definitely excited to read this one. I mean, it's not too thick. You'll see another one about a famous band that's definitely a lot thicker in the next little bits of this video. But this is definitely really cool. I like learning about different things. And I'm definitely excited to learn about one of my favorite bands. And so next I have The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. And I can't believe I have not read this yet. My mom has. She thought it was really good. I actually bought this for her one Christmas or birthday. I can't remember. Before I even discovered who Taylor Jenkins Reid was. And I just, I don't know why I haven't gotten to it. I've read her other books like Malibu Rising, Daisy Jones 6. But I have not gotten to this one yet. But I definitely need to. I think the whole concept is just very interesting and obviously people say Blake Lively is like a very good fit for the main character so I'm definitely excited to picture her in this book. So this is another one. I don't know. It still drives me crazy how I have not read this because I feel like everyone on Book Talk and Bookstagram and everywhere has read this book but me. Then we have Normal People and Sally Rooney and this is another one I picked up because I wanted to read it before I watched the TV show. And then I just never did read it. And I mean, the main reason I wanted to is because I like, I like Desi Edgar Jones. I think she's incredible and I want to watch her in this role, but I want to know what the role is. So therefore I need to read the book. And I just, it's also another short one. And I've heard people say mixed things about this book. I know some people don't like it. Some people really do. So I'm excited to give my take on it and tell you guys what I think about it. So we have From Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armentrout. And this is one I've had on my shelf for probably five years now. That is how long it has been on my shelf. Like, it's insane. Okay, maybe not five years. I think it's four, but still, that's a very long time for me to have not gotten to it. And I believe the series is finished. I could be wrong, but this is one I'm 
probably going to binge read and read all of the books in the series. And of course I've heard it's very like spicy and I think it's about like vampires. I could be very wrong, but of course I haven't read it. So I got to find out. And this is one I picked up like so long ago and I'm very excited to finally get to it. I mean, this, the boy is chunky. So, I mean, it probably will take me a while to read because I just haven't been reading as fast, but definitely one that I will take the time to get to. Next is Verity by Colleen Hoover. And this is another one I swear everyone but me has read. And I mean, ugh, my reasons for not picking it up is probably because I got through all of her other books and then all the controversy happened. And I feel like everyone just kind of stopped liking Colleen Hoover. So I never read it, but I definitely want to see if I enjoy it. I do like Layla and that is another one of her supernatural kind of horror books and I'm excited to see if that is similar in a sense. I mean Layla was definitely one of my favorite Colleen Hoover books so hopefully this will stand up to that book. Next is The Simple Wild and I feel like this was all over book talk and bookstagram a couple years ago but you don't see it as much anymore and I bought it when it was super popular and just never got to it and I believe this is like a romance but like I think it's second chance but I could be very wrong but I'm very interested to see what this book is about. I mean, there's not much I know about it besides that it was a very popular book. So hopefully it'll stand up to like what I have heard about it and it won't disappoint. Next we have this very big, very thick book about ACDC and like the history of the band. And this is another thing to know about me. ACDC is my favorite band of all time. I probably have all of their music memorized. I listen to it. Actually, I can't listen to it in the car because it makes me have road rage, but <laughs> I try my best. I listen to it all the time. Back in Black was my car's theme song. Back when I had my Mazda Tribute, that was its theme song. And, you know, I'm just obsessed with the band. I mean, this book, I don't know how this book has gotten so tattered when I've never even, like, read it. But, I mean, I got for super cheap at, like, a little book store thing in Virginia but this is one I'm definitely excited to like get into. I definitely want to learn some new things about my favorite band. Then we have The Cheat Sheet by Sarah Adams. I've read Practice Makes Perfect by her and I really enjoyed it and I definitely want to see what this is all about because I know this is the one that really got her popular and it is a sports romance and it's with a football player. I haven't read many football sports romances so this will be interesting. I mean I mainly read hockey romances. If you can't tell, I, I have so many hockey romance on my shelf. So this is definitely one that sticks out. And obviously the cover is really cute and I'm very excited about this one. Also, I got it for super cheap. I got it from a consignment bookstore. So that was also a plus. Okay, so my last one, I, I swear this is in several of my TBR videos and I have just never gotten to it. She's like, but it's one I've really wanted to read too, so I don't get why. And that is The Atlas Six. <laughs> I swear, I've been, I've wanted to read it, but I don't know why I get so intimidated because the words are really tiny and it's thick. But I think I'm gonna like put on my big girl pants and get through it. I mean, I've heard amazing things about this book and I feel like I'm missing out because I haven't read it. And if you don't know what this book is about, it's about a bunch of magicians who are like trying to earn their spot at basically like a magician academy. And I just think that's really cool. So this is, I'm going to get to it this year. I am I promise myself I will read this book this year. I better not break that promise. So that's basically like my little end of the year, like second half of 2024 TBR, all the books I want to read before the year ends. And I feel like there's a variety in there. We got some romance, some mystery, a little horror in there as well, but definitely excited to get to these. I mean, a lot can happen in the next six months, so we shall see. But yeah, until next time, see you guys.